waste that like that. How can I waste it from me, then? By making a pig of yourself. Karen! It's half past eight. <sighs> She's a lazy madam. I won't be home tonight, ma'am. Going straight to match with Gizmo. What about your tea? I'll go with the chippy. Mm. Well, behave yourself. I always do. <laughs> it's a law you have to watch. Gizmo reckons he sends all the Evertonian coppers to Anfield and all Liv Pudlian wants to good and so he don't mind when he beat you up. You do talk rubbish, Dame. And don't forget, if you do get into trouble, it won't be the law that beats you up, you or Gizmo, right? Yeah. Right. I'm going. Hey, ma'am. What? Couldn't that as a quick, could you? I could, but I won't. Well, how am I going to get in? With the money you cadged off your father this morning. Karen! Are you dressed yet? Oh, God give me strength. Right, I'm going. See you later. Yeah, that's right. And how's Boda see her this morning? Usual. Oh, dear. Feral, she should get used to it. What time do you have to be there? 9.15. Well, if you left now, you could give her a lift. Uh-huh. I'll go and tell her. darling, you're going to be late. Daddy's going to give you a lift. Big deal. You will remember to see the site agent, Waller, about the plumbing, won't you? You promised to have someone here by today. I'm not putting up with that old thing much longer. Oh, I find that wooden seat rather comforting in this weather. <laughs> OK, see you later. Good luck. Well, I'm only going to register the change of address. Oh, even so, they might have something for you. Let's hope so. Come in. Ah, come in, Lucy. Take a seat. Are you settling in? I uh, understand from your form master that you've experienced a little aggravation. Uh, a refined accent is red rag to a bull with some of the idiots we have to harbour here, I'm afraid. What am I supposed to do? Drop my H's and eat a pound of scouse every lunchtime? No, not quite. I just thought you might like to uh, talk about it. Don't be ridiculous. I can't help my accent. It sets me apart from the rest of the herd. Makes me a target for intimidation. You are incapable of doing anything about that intimidation, so why waste time discussing it? It's just something I have to get used to, so my father tells me. Who knows? Might even be the making of me. Don't you think? Well, don't you want to discuss that? Uh, if you want to. Well, if that's your attitude, you might as well leave. I've got better things to waste my time on than some silly, spoiled little bitch. Go, get out. No, wait. Luke, um, sit down. Please. I know it's stating the obvious, but you're not exactly happy here. 
Really? Sorry. Okay. So you don't want to be here, and you've already had a bad time. From that point, where do we go? You tell me. Shall we start with a cup of coffee? <laughs> oh, God. You can even smile. That is progress. Shouldn't I get back? You said yourself you were two years ahead of most of them. Well, that wouldn't take much, would it? Don't be too hard. We might not be so high-powered as Lady Mount, but we do have some good kids here. So, accepting the fact that you've done your groundwork for your O-levels, and that you survived till the summer, what about the A-levels? Sociology, economics, social history, and general studies, I suppose. Ah. Well, the social history should be all right, but we only do economics to O level. And no sociology at all now. But Mother checked. Uh, yes, that was probably last year. July, actually. Our sociologist left in the summer. We're trying for a replacement, but... What about economics? Same thing, although we did get a replacement. But not for A level. This isn't exactly an attractive place to build a career. Terrific. And general studies? Private study, always has been. So, what do you offer? Maths, English, history, physics, biology, German, French. That's it? Afraid so. Shortage of staff. What about languages? You seem to be pretty good at both languages and science. What's the point? To end up as a holiday guide or a teacher? Well, there are more opportunities than that, you know. We'll all end up speaking Russian soon, anyway. Sorry I'm late, darling. Everything all right? Yes, why shouldn't it be? Well, are we going home or not? Well, come on, darling. It's too cold to leave the door open. Hello, girl. 
Kettle's on. Oh, good. Oh, what about the toilet? The site agent promised the end of the week. Bit of a nuisance, isn't it? He said today. He promised me faithfully it would be today. I know. But it's not his fault. I mean, it's not his fault the pipes were stolen. Such a nice man, too. He's paid to be nice. I knew we should never have let them plumb in that thing. Well, I'm not having it, Annabelle. Do you hear? Yes, dear. Hello, Lucy. Good day at school. Well, aren't you going to take your coat off? And freeze to death. I don't know why we can't have central heating. When I was your age, there was no such thing as central heating. When you were my age, there was no such thing as a calculator either. Hasn't stopped you using one, though, has it? You nash, Lucy. We've obviously brought you up too soft. Then you can't blame me for the way I've turned out, uh, can you? Tea or coffee? Tea. Coffee. What excuse did he give this time? Oh, shortage of materials or something, or There always is. The truth is, now they've got our money... The they... building society's money. is the car worth? The car? Yes, you know, that thing outside with wheels. Why, darling? I want to know. Well, about 10,000, I suppose. 10,000? Well, why don't you sell it? Sell it? You don't need anything like that. Well, why on earth should I sell it? To get some money to pay my school fees. Ah, oh, has this got anything to do with what happened this afternoon? God, you're quick, aren't you? Well... Have a look, Lucy. We've been through all this. No, we haven't. As I remember it, you just decided I could be sacrificed to keep Gordon in school. It isn't a question of sacrifice, Lucy. Yes, it is. He said that. He said we'd all have to make sacrifices. But what have you lost? Central heating. A few coffee mornings. A few rounds of... Gold. I happen to have lost my job. Or have you been too wrapped up in yourself as usual to notice? What if I did sell the car? What would I get in its place? A mini? A moped, perhaps? Would make more sense. Would it? Now, what sort of an image do you think I'd create arriving for management interviews on a moped? What interviews? You're on the scrap heap with the rest of them. But why, for God's sake, do you have to drag me down with you? She didn't mean it. I think she's had trouble at school again today. But she's upset. She's right about selling the car, of course. Nonsense. She's done enough work to get her own levels anywhere. Just throwing money away, paying for this year. If things buck up, she can go back for the sixth form. central heating in this place. When we have the money. Did you go to the bank today? Yes, but I spent most of it on this lot. They're probably worth more than the entire contents. And who's going to fit them? Me? And what's the phase for? Nothing. I have the utmost confidence in you. I'm very good at this sort of thing. Mm. Like the bed still waiting for? 
It's cheaper if you make the base yourself. It is using your method, especially the cost of materials. I'm waiting for the properly seasoned timber. How many seasons does it take? You'd be amazed how many people have got this stuff in the house without knowing it. But what about things like building inspectors? Places like this, you're all right. Look at an old house or a flat recently modernised. You never know what's buried beneath the boards or plaster, do you? No, I suppose not. But how long will it last? As long as copper, as long as you don't overdo it on the hot supply. Which has happened. It's used in pubs to carry ale under pressure. <laughs> and if it's good enough for that, well, eh. Uh... <laughs> Quite. Although they have promised Friday now. They say there's a shortage. Isn't there always? That's why you're in this state. Quite. They're still tossing them up over on the back. They could pull one out of there and put it in here for it if they wanted to. Well, that's what I suggested, but... Oh, probably on bonus. Do you want to know about repairs? If I was you, I'd uh, find a charge on. Do you know, it's amazing what some blokes will do for a picture of uh, Florence Nightingale. I've got my old age pension today. <laughs> How's dinner progressing? Won't be long. Right. I'm off then. There's no need to go. It's all right. I'll see you yourself out. If uh, anything goes wrong, like, just give us a map, okay? Thanks very much. That was rather rude of you. Well, you shouldn't encourage them. They'd be over borrowing sugar next, or tea, or whatever it is those people keep borrowing. Only being friendly. Well, I don't want to be friendly with his sort. Oh, and what is his sort? Have you forgotten what his brother did to Gordon's room? No, but have you forgotten that his father made him pay to have it repainted? <laughs> Didn't have any choice, did he? And what about the loom? Look, I don't want to talk about it. And I don't want those people in and out of the house all day. You know, I've just been over the road there, and that Collins bloke's a miserable sod. I saw you going over there. Well, what's he done now? Oh, nothing. It's just his attitude. Well, his type are always like that. Have you seen their daughter yet? Ah, oh, I wondered why you really went over there. <laughs> I went over to see if the pipes are holding up all right, that's all. I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. I thought my half fellow was going straight to the match tonight. He is. Well, there's car still outside. Have you been upstairs? How can I have been upstairs? I've only just come in, haven't I? That must have been in who came in earlier, then. All right. All right. Hello, Hey, I thought you were going to the match. I don't feel up to it, Sheila. Well, what's up with you? Just as management's replied to our wage claim. And? And they want us to take a 3% cut. I'll lose 200 bloody jobs. <laughs> the joking, are they? I wish they were, lad. If we don't accept by Friday, they're closing the factory in January. Jesus. Happy Christmas. <laughs>